begin tonight with developing news on Rhode Island's risky business deal with 38 Studios. Taxpayers have given 38 Studios a very good deal. And right now we want to make sure as we go forward that everybody adheres to the deal that we made. Governor Lincoln Chafee says the state will not come to the rescue of Kurt Schilling's struggling video company with more money, but 38 Studios may be able to get a tax break. It's a story we've been on top of all week after news of 38 Studios' financial struggles first broke, raising serious concerns about the loan guaranteed Rhode Island essentially co-signed to bring that company to Providence. And now we've learned the cash-strapped company finally made an overdue payment of just over $1 million to the Rhode Island EDC today after delivering a check yesterday they could not cover. And tonight the governor is calling on 38 Studios to begin raising money on its own and stop relying on your or tax dollars. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now live with the developing details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Earlier this week, 38 Studios asked the state for more assistance. Today, the governor made it clear there would be no more taxpayer dollars on the line. Priority right now is to get back and talk to my team. What are you I know with everything that has happened this week, Governor Lincoln Chafee couldn't be more explicit. Do you see the state ever making a deal like this again? Never, never. Not under my watch. The governor announcing that after trying to give the state a bad check for $1.1 million last night. 38 Studios made their 1.125 payment. We have that check and it is cleared. That payment clears the way for 38 Studios to tap into millions of dollars in tax credits. But it's unclear how much they will get and when, if at all. The gaming company founded by former Red Sox pitcher Kurt Schilling moved to Providence last year and returned for a $75 million taxpayer guaranteed loan. The company has received $49 million so far, the max it can get under the agreement. We have been told that the whole 49 is spent, yes. In the meantime, there's no word if the company made payroll yet. Employees outside 38 Studios didn't want to talk to reporters. It's a balance of making sure that 38 Studios is successful so we can recoup our huge investment and also not getting further exposed if the company is ultimately not going to make it. That, that's a tough balance. Yeah, the clock is ticking for taxpayers. If 38 Studios can't figure out a way to be solvent, taxpayers will have to start paying back that loan in May 2013, including interest. That's a total bill of nearly 90 million dollars. Now new at six o'clock, what we've learned about when that game being designed here in Rhode Island will actually be released. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.